How you doing? Welcome along to another episode of Pure Boz Vlogs. Today we are at New Tinto Park here in Govan, home of Bemba, but today home of St Caddox. It's St Caddox versus Beath in the West of Scotland Football League Premier Division. This should be an absolute cracker. Let's go and have a chat with the gaffers. Chris, first of all, uh, welcome on to Pure Boz. Today you're bringing your Beath side uh, to New Tinto Park uh, to face a a relatively informed St Caddox, uh, how do you approach today's game mate? Um, we just do what we're always doing, um, looking to play on the front foot, um, try and get at them, try and exploit any weaknesses that they've got in their team and, and play to their strengths and that's how we approach most games but um, I'm pretty um, pleased with how the boys are performing in the, in the lead up to the game and how we've been performing at the start of the season so looking forward to the game, I'm sure St Caddox will have um, it'll be a, a definite test for us, but we'll see how we do. You come here as uh, current West Scotland Premier Division champions. Um, I'm right in saying unbeaten so far in the league. Yeah, we've won 11 out of 11. Um, so uh, confidence is obviously um, high within, within the team. Um, are you confident that you, you'll be able to do a job in St Carrick today? Managers are always, you know, you're in the side of caution. You're always scared in case runs and whatever else come, yep. to, come to an end. So you're never, you know... You're never fully confident that you're, you know, going into games that you're going to win. Uh, I think that's only due respect to the other teams that we're playing against. The standard in the league is very high, and in any given day, any team can beat one another. But we're on a good run of form, as you say. We've won 11 out of 11. We're playing well. Um, the boys are in good spirits, and we've not got really many injuries, so we're, we're, you know, in good fettle coming into the match. And I hope we can just continue that. Um, I just a good season last year. Kieran start. Kieran started really, really well. Um, you always hope somebody can come in and hit the ground running in terms of new signings and whatnot, and he's done that. But it's, uh, anybody that plays up front for us is going to get chances the way we play. Um, Josh, as I say, had a phenomenal season last year, got his reward, got his move. Kieran's doing really well, but they're just a cog in the wheel as far as I'm concerned. That's you know, that's, that's just how we play. We look for somebody at the top end of the pitch that can put away the chances that we create, and uh, both of them have done that. But we get goals for other areas of the park as well. Straight it'll be a cat and game of day, mate. Good luck. Cheers, thanks, Paul. Martin, back day, um, league duty this afternoon um, against uh, the West Scotland Premier Division champions. Uh, Beath, uh, it's going to be a tough game today, mate. How do you approach it? Aye, the toughest, I'd imagine, that we've played. You know, Beath are the, men the benchmark for this division and this level of football. You know, what they've done over the last year. And then I think what's more impressive is not even what they did last year, but how they've continued that into this season. We we're losing Josh and replacing them with Kieran. And, and it's really, really impressive that that kind of level of form they've continued to show after the break in, in, in the off-season. I spoke to um, Strainy just before uh, yourself and I, I kind of alluded to that um, with the fact that obviously, you know, goals win you games and Beath kind of lost their goals and it's been impressive that they you know they've managed to replace that with a, with a guy that's uh, scored, I think it's 15 and 10 uh, and uh, Renfrew's Kieran Diver they, they've mm. obviously signed. Um, I think... You, you guys obviously are looking on in that you, you're quite impressed that they've managed to kind of replace Josh in, in such a good manner definitely I, I think that's that is again impressive that I think Chris and Chris and his staff do that well where if somebody goes out you know they've probably got their eye on who's going to come in to replace that and try and fill the breach immediately and, and Kieran's done that you know, Kieran's got really good pedigree he was a Celtic and you know, scored a lot of goals last year for Renfrew so I think he was always going to. It wasn't a question if he could step, make the step up or not. You know, I think he did everything he could. So uh, it's, it's good to see him starting the season well, and hopefully we can keep him at bay today. Aye, of course. Um, away from obviously uh, Beath's good fortunes, um, uh, you'll not allude to how tough a start it's been for you guys in the, uh, the West of Scotland Premier League. But you've have, you've have kind of um, settled a wee bit now. You've got the team kind of rolling. It's uh, seven undefeated. Um, you'll be wanting to continue that today, of course. Yeah, of course, of course. I think. For us, it was always going to be, can we find our feet and, and adjust quickly and took us a wee while and, and we're, we're still a long way away from where I would want us to be. But so I, I've kind of said since the start of the season that if we can get performances, results will come. And, and the level of performance has been has been strong over the last seven or eight weeks. So I, the results for me are not, of course, a results driven business, but I always felt results will, will deal with themselves if you can keep turning out performances. And at the moment, that's what we're doing. So it's been seven steps forward in the last the last seven weeks, if you like. Absolutely. It's just... I was trying to maintain that level of, of progression. That's really the main thing for us. The um, starting lineup today um, is it? Uh, are, you, are you ringing any changes, or is it much the same? Just as... one change from last week. Aidan McIlduff has come in. Uh, you know, Aidan's a 
top player at this level and, and, and we only get the opportunity to really work with him, with him because his commitments with, with the international team. So yeah. he's, he's in and out through a bit of international duty, but he's come in today for BJ, who's, who's picked up a knock. And uh, I have no doubts that Aidan will fill the breach. He's played in every cup game for us and he's been very impressive in doing so. So I'm looking forward to seeing him today. Martin, should be an absolute cracker today, mate. Enjoy it. Good Cheers, luck. Paul. Thanks. Oh, 
You might have still got it, by the way. Well, you just call on her. She's not having any other ends. There you have it guys, full time here at New Tinto Park, it finishes St Caddox 3, Beath 3, an entertaining match, I hit 4 goals in the first 20 minutes of the first half, um, it's been an absolute cracker, let's go and have a chat and find out what the gaffer thought. Strainy, a 3-3 draw here at New Western Park against St Caddox, um, do you see that as a, a point gained or two points lost? Um, no, it's definitely two points lost, um, up 3-2 and they get a goal in the last four or five minutes of the game, um, but in general terms you get a point, you just need to deal with it and, and move on, there was too much that was no, I wasn't happy with in terms of the game today, that, um, and it's not because obviously, it's probably because we dropped points, but even if we had a win the game when we were in 3-2, I wasn't happy with certain aspects of our game. I thought at times today we were um, fragile, where previously we've been really brave. We give a real soft goal away in the first minute of the game. Um, but again, show good qualities and good character and get ourselves into a winning position. But from there, we, we were, I'm disappointed that we've never seen the game out. Sometimes you, when you're not your best, you just need to grind and see the game out. And we've been, we've been very good at that in the past. Um, but in terms of... the in terms of chances for both teams, I think the day could have been seven, eight each. You know, St Caddock's carved out more chances than probably the rest of the teams together against us in the games. And, and defensively, we just weren't the, um, as assured as we normally are, and, and that kind of set the tone for us today. But we just need to dust ourselves down, take the point, and, and move on. Good game. A good game. Bit better sweet for us. 
felt as much as we were behind by five minutes to go, I thought we created enough chances to win the game. And uh, I was, I felt it was a wee bit like we dropped points, even though it's a, a, a late goal. But Bath had good chances as well when they were when they were ahead in the game. So it's about taking the chances at the right moments of the game. And you know, I think our goalie was, I thought the goalie was man of the match for me with some of the saves he made, with some of the one-on-ones. So look, it's a sign of where we're at. But. I'm disappointed with the goals we conceded today more than anything else. But a good game. So no, I was happy goal. to get I was happy to get one nil up after oh, 20 of course seconds. I. But uh, I look Bob did well, he had a good, really good game today. You know, he scores the first and he sets nearly up for the second and he and he and he put in a real a real performance for us today. Uh, yeah, I think we conceded sloppy goals at sloppy points to let Beath back in look Beath are the benchmark. I've said that oh, before. Of course I so Beath are gonna they're gonna have spells in those in, in the game where they create a lot of chance against you and I feel like we could have managed those spells a bit better conceding a set piece I'm disappointed about and then even the manner of the third goal I think we're really really passive and letting a, be- a team like Beath with such quality get touches in our box like that and we've got to get tighter and, and kind of stop them affecting the game but you know we scored I thought we scored three really good goals today yep. you know Bob takes the first one well the second one's a, a sublime finish by Neely excellent. and Danny McManus does absolutely excellent for the third one to show real composure in a tight area with two guys around him to get that ball across so happy with the goals we concede eh, happy with the goals we score and We'll, we'll work on the goals we concede. I spoke to Strainey again just kind of before yourself. I said to him, um, do you see today as a, a point gained or, or two point drops? I'll ask you the same question. Difficult, difficult <laughs> question. They're all the same points, they all add up the same at the end Aye. of the season, you know. So I spoke to Chris there and, and he'll agree that they would have feel they could have won the game and we'll feel we could have won the game. You know, if, if either I'm sure either team feel they were capable of three points today and that probably shows you that, you know, maybe a point apiece is the fair one. I heard a couple of fans um, coming off the park at the end of the match saying it, it, it could have been anything today, 7-7, 8-7, 9-7, you know. Hey, Martin, listen, good luck for the rest of the season, mate, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks, Paul.